Did you know that the peacock mantis shrimp is a brightly colored crustacean that lives on Indo-Pacific coral reefs and associated sand flats? Its common name reflects the brilliant greens and blues that adorn the male's exoskeleton, shell. Females are also brightly colored but are mostly red. Peacock mantis shrimp are powerful hunters, feeding on hard-shelled invertebrates of all kinds and even some fishes. They are well known for the extremely fast punching motion that they do with their front appendages to kill and break apart their prey. This punch is one of the fastest movements in the animal kingdom and is strong enough to break through an aquarium's glass wall. Peacock mantis shrimp use this behavior to break open snails and other mollusks and to completely dismember crabs, shrimps, and other crustaceans. Peacock mantis shrimp are known to have extremely complex eyes and can see in more wavelengths of color than even mammals. Under special light cameras, scientists have demonstrated that the already colorful exoskeletons of this species are actually even more elaborate when viewed by each other. Peacock mantis shrimp dig U-shaped burrows in the sand near the reef's edge from which they venture out to hunt and to attract mates. They reproduce via internal fertilization, and after laying the eggs, the females carry them around on their front appendages until they hatch, protecting them and keeping them clean. Some peacock mantis shrimp may form monogamous pair bonds. Peacock mantis shrimp are one of the largest and most colorful species of mantis shrimp and are therefore desirable for the private aquarium industry. However, individuals will often eat many of the other fishes and invertebrates in a tank, so some aquarists actively avoid this species. There is also a small market for eating peacock mantis shrimp in some Asian countries. Scientists do not have sufficient data to determine this species' population trends. Also, did you know that the geoduck, pronounced gooey duck, is a large clam native to the west coast of North America? Unlike the giant clam, which is almost all shell, the geoduck has a small shell compared to the soft part of its body, which it cannot retract into the shell. The shell rarely grows larger than about 8 inches, but the soft body can be over 3.3 feet long. Geoducks burrow deep into soft, muddy or sandy sediments, and this long neck is actually the siphon that the clam uses to bring clean seawater down to the deeply buried shell. They are the largest of all burrowing clams. Geoducks are filter feeders. The water that they siphon down to the buried main body is filtered for small particles of food, phytoplankton, pelagic crustaceans, and fish larvae. This water is also the source of the animal's oxygen and is actively pumped over the gills. This species reproduces through a behavior known as broadcast spawning, where several females release eggs and several males release sperm into the water column all at the same time. This method increases the likelihood that eggs will become successfully fertilized and that fertilized eggs will not be eaten by egg predators near the seafloor. Geoducks are extremely productive, with the long-lived females producing as many as 5 billion eggs throughout their lifetimes. Very few of these eggs will survive all the way to sexual maturity. Geoducks have a very long lifespan, with individuals known to reach ages over 165 years old. Geoducks are a highly valuable seafood species. With individuals demanding as much as 150 US dollars per pound. Now you know. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Comment below, share for more, did you know videos by Yahira Lovely Loves. Merch is available at www.ioctopus.biz.